Okay. I do a lot of uh, short-term forex trading and I own some stocks and I wanted to buy some more stocks but I wanted to uh, track them and, and use technical analysis to help me pick new stocks and I found this um, this software that's very popular, NinjaTrader, which is free to use um, for end of day type stuff um, and you can connect it up with the Yahoo data feed which doesn't cost you any money to download the end of day data so I wanted to do it with the ASX uh, data which isn't in there by default and I saw there's lots of people trying to do it when I was doing a search trying to work out how to do it there's a lot of people that seem to have issues so I thought I would do a tutorial on it so after you've downloaded and installed Ninja Trader, if you want to get the ASX 200 uh, list in, I found this website asx200list.com and essentially what they do is they periodically update it with the latest and latest ASX 200 list uh, and they tell you the um, the market capitalization and all sorts of different things so if you just want the um, you know the biggest ASX 200 companies in your charting software so you're only looking at things that trade a lot um, go to asx200list.com and you can click this uh, download link here to download the spreadsheet and you can open it up in a spreadsheet now I'm using OpenOffice I imagine you could do it in Excel as well um, but you can see here that the list is just CBA BHP etc but the Yahoo data uses .ax at the end and obviously you don't want to change 200 things manually yourself so what we can do is use a spreadsheet function uh, concatenate and um, then the cell so the cell would be A2 uh, then if we do a semicolon and then a double quote and then we go A dot AX and then uh, to import it into NinjaTrader we need some sort of se separator between the symbols so I'm going to use a semicolon again and then uh, double quote to, to change what we're concatenating and then if we press enter you can see that we have cba.ax and then our separator um, which is the semicolon so now I'm going to copy that with control C and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to press page down a couple of times um, and just holding shift arrow down to the very end and then I'm just going to go control V to paste it and you can see that it's automatically done the symbol list for us um, so I'm going to hold the shift key and press page up uh, then I'm going to go control C to copy it and I'm just going to scroll down okay we've got the last one as well so now I'm going to pull up Ninja Trader, and this is what Ninja Trader looks like when you first open it up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in the the symbol list. So go to the file menu, we can go to utilities, and then down here you can see import import stock symbol list. So if we click that, you can see that there's a box here. So I'm just going to go Control V and paste it all in, and then there's a blank line. I'm just going to press backspace to get rid of it and we can see that we've got our ASX 200 list in here now I'll trade it on, it says New York Stock Exchange I'm going to change it to Australian Stock Exchange change the currency to Australian Dollar Instrument List I'm going to change it to the default I'm going to leave that default and our separator character was the semicolon so now when I press OK down here you can see the uh, the status of the import so it's going through fairly quickly um, unfortunately there's another 30 seconds um, okay I can't do anything else so I'll just wait for this to import another 20 seconds that's interesting it reckons it's importing 201 stocks for the ASX 200 list huh. and 
201 stocks were imported. So I can click OK and then if I wanted to view it, obviously I don't have the data feed set up yet. Uh, I'll set that up in a second but I can go chart and in here we can see that we have our ASX 200 list which actually has 201 things. Okay, so I'm going to close out of that and to set up our free Yahoo data feed to download the data we can go to the tools menu and go to account connections and we want to add a new connection okay and so go go next and I'm just going to call it Yahoo data and the provider will be Yahoo I'm going to leave everything else the same here but I'm going to click connect on startup so it will automatically start up the data feed when we load the software then I'm going to click next and I'm going to click next and I'm going to click finish so then I'm going to close that now it doesn't automatically load the data feed when you add it but if you were to close the software and open it up it would but we can manually load it up by going file then connect and then Yahoo data and you can see down here that it's now connected to the Yahoo data feed so now we can go file new chart and we've got a big list here so if you know what you want you can just search it so if I wanted um, CBA I go CBA.ax and then over here um, it says days, I think by default it says minutes, I changed it to days earlier on, um, but it will load in 365 days worth of data by default, uh, so then I can click the OK button and here, here it says it's loading the data and I'll just stretch this out and the chart comes up. Now I've actually modified my chart a little bit to have three simple moving averages and the volume down the bottom. Now if you wanted to do that also you can come up here to uh, indicator list you can click that and there's lots of different indicators in there which you can play with um, but you can see here I have a simple moving daily 200, 40 and 20 period as well as the volume um, on the daily. Uh, and you can change the colors, the thickness of the lines, all sorts of things. Uh, if you want that to load up by default on all your charts, you would right click it. I'll actually do it up high so you can see it. And then you go down to templates and then go save as default. And once it's saved as the default, you will uh, any, any chart that you load up will, um, will then be, be brought in. Um, you can also load things up through there, but it's a pretty big list with 200 things and you can obviously change it from daily to weekly or, or whatever period you want and then um, you obviously have a few different drawing tools and stuff. Uh, if you want to learn how to use the software, uh, NinjaTrader actually have videos on YouTube. So I just wanted to basically show you how to get um, get get it set up for the uh, the main ASX stocks that people would be interested in tracking. Uh, so hopefully you found it useful um, and I'll end the video there.